What's up guys, this is your boy Rusi and today on Raid Shadow Legends we're gonna be taking a look on the starting champions because it's not like there is a wrong answer but it may change how you play your game and what you have access on in the most in the beginning and the most if you're a free to play account. So let's take a look, okay? And just a disclaimer, it doesn't matter who you pick as long as you have fun you don't need to get to level 100, you don't need to clear the highest dungeons. It's about enjoying the game and, you know, relaxing a bit. So let's take a look. Alright, so the first champion we're going to be taking a look is Elhane. Now, Elhane has a very nice kit. She has two nukes. What One of them, lightning arrow, you attack one enemy and then you attack all enemies. And you also have value of death that attack all enemies twice. Now. Usually, uh, Lightning Arrow is going to hit a little harder, but it's going to hit a little harder in one champion and spread some damage into the other ones. Now, it's not spread damage. I just mean you're going to hit hard, but not as hard in the other champions. So, great champion. Um, what El Hain is actually the best, and that's my opinion. People may differ on that, but I feel it's Campaign. Campaign, she's great. She's great for you to level on campaign. Now, some other areas she will lack, like for example, Clan Boss. Clan Boss, she's not the best. She will give you a lot of damage, but that's it. She doesn't bring anything up to the table besides for that. Now, if you want to level in campaign, she's really good for it. And that usually is my pick. She's one of my two picks, to be honest. Not that I didn't start with other champions but yeah she she has a, a spot in my cold cold heart okay all right so another thing that is very important for Elhain, right it's faction wars now why do i bring faction wars up to Elhain and say she's better it's not exactly uh in the sense of just being overall better but it's because on palace of arabia you actually, you're able to get two of her teammates on Faction Wars uh, just by, you know, without having to open shards or anything. So, uh, so you're going to have Avenger. That's one of the first picks. Avenger hits pretty hard. I actually use her on Faction Wars in the most in my free-to-play account on the competition. She's really good. She has very nice hits. Uh, attack one enemy, 30% chance of placing a 30% decreased defense debuff, but she hits hard, even on this one. And then you have uh, Ascended Skill, attacks random two times, has an extra 15% of chance of inflicting a critical hit, and you have attack one enemy, this skill always inflicts a critical hit. So if you build her really strong on attack, this one hit, it's one hit, one kill. Okay, and you don't have to worry about critical rate. So really good pick and then you have the charming the amazing Harris Harris really good in the most uh, the moment you attack she will attack the person back uh, usually on clan boss teams for example you build her with poison not always a pick it's your choice but build her with a poison set and she's really good so that's one of my I would pick if my focus is on faction wars leveling on faction wars but then again you gotta remember, it's just one of the factions you're gonna be leveling, but it's much easier on that team because you have three champions, and you probably gonna be looking at farming a lot in there because of the speed gear. So, Elhain, solid choice. All right, let's take a look at the next one. All right, and my second pick coming from the Dark Elves faction, and it's Kyle. Now, Kyle really good uh his focus honestly besides campaign he's really good in campaign don't take me wrong but his best focus is on clan boss and the most in the beginning because his poisons so very strong on that not too bad his nuke is really good but he doesn't have two nukes as per se now his poison will hit hard it doesn't just cause poison but it's not as strong as el Haines, right so but at the same time he can he gonna hit four times at random and chance of placing a five percent poison so it's strong version of poison for two turns and he can actually get four poisons in one shot 
so very strong the most for clan boss in the beginning you don't have a lot of the you know strong enough champions to be able to go against a boss and he's going to be creating damage with poison alone so really good pick now one thing i have to say uh kael when it goes to more like faction wars it's a little bit harder because your choices gonna be to actually farm Durham uh forest what it's not too bad because you can get the critical rate set but you only really have one option of rare to actually farm and it's spirit host now don't take me wrong spirit host really really strong uh mostly because of her a3 with its dark gift removes all debuffs of on all allies place a block debuffs buff on all allies for one turn and it's on a five turn cooldown if you book her now she's really great but unless you plan to have kyle and four spirit hosts you may be a little bit in trouble now the other thing is uh kyle does have some half decent uh on uh, commons that may help you uh, during progression faction wars, but that you're gonna be getting with shards. Now, so Kyle, really good. Clan boss is his focus. Campaign, I feel, and that's just my opinion, a little bit below um, Elhain, but he's also very strong on Spider. He can pretty much, if he's six star and you got his masters he can by himself level on spider pretty much for a while like up to a certain point um don't have the numbers in here right now but yeah he can go pretty decent all by himself so you can actually get food and some artifacts from there all right so really good choice all right so let's see who we have number three all right guys so in number three and now Again, this is not in order of best worst, okay? Just understand that. But the third one going to be Galak. Now, Galak, uh, I will say, and that's my opinion, some people actually play really great with him, but I feel he brings the least amount to the table. Um, because in the beginning, you really want to be clearing campaigns. You want to be going up on dangers to a point. And Galak's really good in what he does, what is decreasing defense, what is in the most like he has the big decrease defense, what is great, but the problem is his attack's not as strong. Uh, he does give you increased speed, but you can get it with other champions. And when you're trying to level in the most in campaign, in the most of the beginning, I feel he's a little bit weaker. Um, but that's basically what he is. I, I feel the problem with Gallic is he's very average in everything. He doesn't have one thing that he's great at. So, yes, he'll help you on clan boss by decreasing defense so you can cause more damage. Yes, he'll help you on campaign up to a point, also because of decreased defense and everything. But the problem is you need a damage dealer in the beginning and his damage is yeah, okay for the most part don't take me wrong you see those this guy in the arena a lot of times just nuking and killing all teams but it's a little bit harder for you to build this champion that way so Gallic really good really solid um his orc faction is not the worst to be honest um just a little bit harder for you to be able to get uh champions from his faction so he doesn't have that many buddies, let me put it like this. So, I usually don't worry as much about the Orc. Um, I actually went pretty decent up on Faction Wars on the free-to-play competition, but was using commons and uncommons. So, make your pick. All right, so number four. All right, so number four, Atel. Now, Atel is very weird because she has everything to be the best but i don't feel she hits hard enough and she's like gallic in the sense that she's very average she's good on many things but she's not amazing on anything now the thing about eight is you do have on a one a weekend what's gonna help you a lot to cause more damage uh to really like 
hit hard on the enemies. So she is good. So in a sense, she can cause a lot of damage if she causes a weaken. What makes sense? The most because she attacks one enemy three times, so three chance to put the weaken on. But she's not doing that in the group. It's not an AoE. Then we have on A2, attacks all enemies, has a 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Great! So you have 15% chance on top of whatever you have. In the beginning, it's great because it's hard to get 100% crit right on the get-go. Okay, so not too bad. Hits hard enough, nothing crazy, but pretty decent damage. And then we have the higher blasting that increases attack, increases defense, and gains an extra turn. Okay, so really good. It gives you a small version of the increased attack, small version of increased defense. But to be honest, she's a very solid champion. It just, she's not great. Uh, in the most, you only have really two attacks. <coughs> okay, third one's really a buff. What it helps, but it takes some for certain progressions in the most in the beginning. Now, if you actually get her, for example, on a shard, I would keep her for Faction War. She's great on that. But for you to progress, because you really don't want to get stuck in certain levels, she is not the greatest. She's really good, but not the greatest. So in my opinion, I would choose Kael or Elhain. Uh, in the most fierce starting the game, now if you played the game for a while, you probably tried some of those champions and you may even have some special use you usually have, and that's gonna help you a lot, so hey, go ahead. You gotta remember, you also have a lot of promo codes, and if you guys want, let me know in the comments, I will do a video talking about each one of the choices you guys have on promo codes for Epic and LEGO Champions, all right? Because it, it changes completely what you're doing, who you're gonna pick as well. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna have. Uh, that's your four choices. They, none of them are bad. Uh, they just gonna really change the way you play in the most of the beginning. Okay, now I am planning to do a video uh, very soon, actually, gonna be a series of videos. What is pretty much walking with players of how to faster, faster level in the game and be able to get more from less. Now, this, for sure, it's more for free-to-play players. And yeah, if you're not a free-to-play, you're gonna get a lot of freebies without having to put money. So when you actually do, you probably gonna get stuff that you actually need, not just random stuff that you could live without. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe a lot, like I said, if you guys already played the game for a while, it may not be as important for you guys, but for new players, it may help them start that journey into the world of Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you very much. I'm your boy, Rusian, and as always, I'll see you in the game.